It's Mayu, and we're back with Night at the Gates of Hell. Are you excited to find out what happens to these people and Liam? Or whatever his name is, I forgot. Wait, did Liam die? Hey, Amy. Ah. What? No, I shot the... Ah. Wait. Um, hello? Are these zombies invincible? Dude? Hello? Oh. Ah! Okay, can you notice me? Like... I don't like... Oh. Um... Hello? Hey, man. Thanks for bailing us out. Um... Don't... Don't speak so soon! There's still some... Things out there! I don't have a gun, but... I'll try my best to be useful. Okay, Stan. I was here on vacation. Right before the shit hit the fan. Ah, uh, unlucky. Next, looking up. Mm. I found that mother and a creepy son over there. <laughs> a creepy son. Oh, it's it's always the children that have to be creepy in these type of settings. They must be stumbled upon this place with the captain and Skeeter. The captain. I don't know the city. But I know I heard what sounded like a shotgun coming from the dance school. More survivors then? Just take a left once you leave and follow the road. You'll see the build. Oh, and what about you guys? A shotgun might be better than that old revolver you got there. Good luck. Okay, okay, can these guys like for real shut up? Hello. Ooh, that really is creepy. <laughs> Hello, Belinda. And Charles. <laughs> I'm thinking of a joke, but I don't know if I can say it. I'm scared. I can't explain it, but it seems like the undead are being controlled by a greater force. They perhaps aren't as mindless as they seem. Ah, that is pure speculation on my part, though. Um, okay, Belinda. I just know I'm so glad you found us. My baby boy Charles and I were starting to lose hope. Uh, are you sure that's... That's a baby boy. Bro, it looks like a middle-aged man. Hi, Charles. Stop staring at my mommy's big, incredible boobies. Uh, <gasps> I'm her little boy, not you. I'm her little cuddle bug. Her little man. A cutie patootie. Can we kill this guy? Children in this game. That's right, just a normal kid. Matter of fact, don't stare at me either, you ugly, ugly man. Are you sure you should be talking? Go away. You and your bald head. Shut up. Hi, Skeeter. Uh, I ain't carrying a weapon. I got no interest these days. Well, you should have some interest if you want to survive. I promised my dearest Martha I'd never touch a gun again. Personally, I don't care if I live or die. I joined up with these folks to see if I could help. But I just froze up when things got dicey. I just want to go out a hero serving the greater good. Something that Uncle Sam lied to me about a long time ago. I want to die for a reason, you know? Mm. I get it, I get it. Something that'll make Martha proud. Mm. Hi, Captain. You don't have a name? It's just Captain? Ahoy there! Ahoy! Thanks for helping us out. It's very appreciated. Mm -hmm. Myself and these fine folk were going to try and sell out of here on my boat. Oh, that's why the boat's there. I heard on the airwaves before that went out. Of an island. Supposedly, that's where everyone is going to try and regroup. Darn thing, is that piece of junk out there ain't ready for a journey that far out to sea. Hey. Oh, they're gonna make me do it. He's gonna be like, go get the food, go get more guns, go get more people. I know you're the captain, but with me around, the protagonist, I'm the captain now. There's three things that we need to get ready. Oh, we? Okay, Captain. Since you got a gun and all, <sighs> you search the city for us. Pay attention. This is what we need. 
Uh, <laughs> okay. Gasoline. An engine hose. And lastly, a fuse. Okay, gasoline, engine hose, a fuse. Find those three things and report back here. Before we get the boat up and running, you can come with us, friend. What? I need approval? I need to prove myself first? Ugly kid. <laughs> I, probably, I probably shouldn't <laughs> bully a kid too much. I swear I am I can be nice. Sometimes. Oh no, okay. He said, go out, make a left, and assuming he means over here. Is that, is this the gasoline you guys want? Can we pick these up? It can be like Resident Evil. We pick up the herbs, it goes like, getting. And then we combine them. And oh. oh my god. Okay, we'll we'll explore that last died. <laughs> she just do that right now. Are you alive? Are you alive? Whatever that that hurt my throat. That was that was raw. That was incredibly raw. Okay, everything's pointing to exploring this place right here. So, hello. I fear something terrible is about to overtake our town. Father Freidstein has been most strange lately. His eyes. It feels strange to say, but his eyes bring one word to my mind. Death? He doesn't seem to be the same. I fear the devil has got it to him. Mm. How so? What is that? <laughs> it's so tiny. Having fun in there, everyone? Can you do all the work? I don't know. I'll give you a knife. Any, any help would be nice. Skeeter, you said you wanted to go out useful. How about... How about one of you give me a flashlight? What? Oh, I do have one. Bruh. Hands up. Where I can see him. <sighs> oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. No. Oh no. Thank you though. There's something strange about Headmistress Emmanuel. Ever since she joined that new church, she has been short with the students. What? In fact, there are a number of people in this village who have been acting peculiar. I can't put my finger on it, but something is happening right under our noses. So... They were slowly but surely recruiting people for their cult. You expect me to go up against all these people? Like, for real? What the... Oh! Oh no! Maybe I should have reloaded. How many knives do I have? Okay, I have two more. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Ballerinas? Ballerina outfits? I used to... Um, I used to actually take uh, ballet classes when I was in elementary. Or when I was little. Um, I, I actually kind of liked it. My mom really wanted me to do it. So I just, you know, did it. And it was really, really cool. I used to be able to stand up on my tippy toes as well without like shoes and whatnot. I can't do that anymore, obviously. But yeah. It's just like Resident Evil 4. We go in there, we fight the big cheese or the big guy. And then Ashley's in there, I think. I can't remember. Been a while. Very excited for the remake. Here? No, he's gonna be right there. I don't have a lot of knives left. Give me this, please. I- I need it! I need- Oh! 
Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, fine. I'll bite. Where are you? A man from Bloodwash! Over here! Man from Bloodwash! Hmm. Oh, what? Wouldn't it make more sense to... Oh, to use the ladder? Oh. That was... <laughs> oh... I think that would have gotten me if I wasn't staring at the... At the shotgun shells. Oopsie daisy. Ah, it don't... Bleh. Mama locked them all in the basement. Her and Papa blocked the staircase because the basement might not hold them. So now we just live upstairs. It's, a, it's impossible to tell how many days have passed. Because the, the sky is blood red constantly. Mama and Papa only cry and read the Bible now. Okay. They say Satan is coming for our souls. Damn, everyone went to church. A oh, food? Finally! None for Charles, by the way. Get that little kid. The, 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 the letter obviously said there were lots of zombies here. Grab my leg, please. You! The letter was talking about it as if they were still alive, but they're all dead. Oh, someone's probably gonna go here. I'm ready. What? What the? It's locked now? Okay, that was just a strength test. Oh, please, Charles, please die! Hiya! I'm back! I'm back! Captain! Over here! Thank you! Yo, the Slender Man! I didn't know he was in this game! Yo! That's who started it all! It lives under the floor? What the hell was that? <sighs> Made me black out there for a while. Okay, what do you have for me? There's something rustling around under the floor. It keeps walking. It keeps walking. It keeps waking the whole family up at night. The little one is our, is particularly scared. It seems. I have to admit, I've been pretty on edge too. I'm sure it's just a rodent, but sometimes I feel silly for writing this, this down. Even sometimes I think I see someone looking up at me through the floorboard. I'll have to get some mouse traps in the market tomorrow and put an end to this. Mm. I don't see any holes, so I don't know how it can speak. Speak to me, baby. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Tell me anything you want to tell me. I'm always open for discussions. Oh, it's so bright in here. It's kind of hurting my eyes. Baby girl. Oh! Okay. It's probably for here, right? Is there going to be some sort of boss battle? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Thank you for letting me out. 
think it'd be that easy. Where the hell am I? How are you doing that? Where am I? Am I still in the same building? Oh, the gasoline. Can I crouch? Oh, just climb this, jump through. We've done some parkour in our lives, right? Right? Whatever your name is. You know what? I'm gonna call you Kai. <laughs> Think you're slick. Oh. If I die at any point in this game, I'm gonna be so sad. Before, before we continue, gotta load it up. Then we gotta train the zombies. I can cut Black Ops. We're playing on Kino Dude. Hurt. Oh, oh, that scared me. Kino, Kino Dude hurt not hurting. Whatever I said. <laughs> Sorry, panic. All right. I shouldn't leave until I find the gasoline. It has to be in here somewhere. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Wait, I, I couldn't even see. <laughs> Let's reload real quick. You never know what's afoot. Be five steps ahead of them. Never let them know your next move. Meet me upstairs at 9 p.m.? Ooh. My mom should be asleep and I can sneak out. She's really mad when she found out about us. She wouldn't stop talking about how satanic our relationship is. Ever since Dad died, she just clings to her old crucifix like it's the only thing she has. She needs to get over it. Who knows? Maybe being dead isn't all that bad. Oh... So that's how I shut upstairs. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, not the. Get away! Why is it so dark? How much time has passed? Has it been hours? Oh. No, I missed! No, 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 no! What is that? No, isn't my wife Lisa? Whatever her name is. I I I th uh, I'm sorry. I I I have to go. You know, I had to leave you. I had to let you go. What what is it called? Like the the stages of grief? I went through a lot. I went through all, like most of them, to be honest. You have to understand, Lisa. <laughs> I didn't- I didn't see what <laughs> My bad, yo! Wait, again? Can we do that again? <gasps> Dude, this is like that mercy- that mercy scene? <laughs> or like that gif? The knife- the knife coming to help. Oh, am I in some sort of like nursing home? Or like a hospital type of thing. Dr. Stiglitz had a lock installed on some of the doors. I think it has to do with the corpse that had been going missing. Been Being the strange... Sorry, I had to crack my finger. Being the strange bird that he is. He doesn't want anyone to know the code. He even went as far as to rip the paper the code was written on in two. <laughs> ah. Oh. Dog. Do you need to talk to someone? There's hope. I can get you hope. We're trying to leave the city. And I have to find one more thing before we leave. I don't know what this place has to do with it. It's okay. Give me the code. Looks like it's half of a code. Oh, silly. You silly Billy. Why? I, I, uh, I wonder why we can't take this just in case 
Like, the zombies have weapons in their head. Why not use it to your advantage? Give one to Skeeter! Skeeter wants to go out like a good man. Dude, why... Why are you crazy? Wait, what? Huh? Oh, there we go. Alright, whoever's in there? Come up! Stand up! No, 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 no! <laughs> Someone put that there on purpose. Get it from the desk of Doctor Stiglitz. Father Fre Fred Stein, whatever Einstein for all I care, and I have a snag in our understanding. I am expected to provide the corpses for his endeavors. Endeavors, my bad. But I simply cannot keep up with his demand. The whole situation is becoming noticeable. I will have to inform him of my decision to end our agreement tonight. Oh, shoot. That probably didn't end well for you. Never mind. I'm sorry for calling you crazy earlier. Clearly, the guy who was wanting the corpses was crazier. And what is this? Oh, well, thank you. Thanks. I feel so honored. Oh my god. I'm blushing a little bit. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh. Feels so nice to be respected. To be respected around here. Whew. Aw. Thank you. What the? And who are you? No. I don't have a lot of knives. Wait, are those dogs? Yeah, that's right. Get away! Get away! Oh, those monkeys? Or dogs? Um, I don't have a lot of knives, so can... Please, come on, dog. I <laughs> get it, dog. <laughs> I'm so silly. Come on, guys. Oh, do I need to make my way back? Oh, that makes so much more sense, to be honest. What the? That guy's still walking! I if I die, if I die, I die over life. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, thank you. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> huh? You're silly. You're silly for even thinking I want to deal with that right now. Or do I have to? Do I have to? I mean, everyone seems so chill except you. Okay, <laughs> fine. I'll peek. I'll fold. Well, not fold like in the sense like I lose. Just fold in the sense that I'll fight. What? Okay, yeah. I'm done. I'm done. I clock out! I'm clocking out! Captain, I got everything. Ah, you scurvy dog! Oh my, you're so bright. I can't even see the dialogue. That's all we need to leave this hell hole. This boat up and running and two shakes of a mermaid's tits. Uh, I don't know if that was needed, Captain. Huh? What? What was that? So, um, it looks to me we are about right here. And this guy does That's not know where he's going. There, Cap. Oh. Uh, I cannot believe this. I thought you were a captain. Why haven't you the faintest idea of where we are? Okay. Since we're all friends now, can I lay down some truth? Fact is, I'm just a cabin boy, okay? The hmm. furthest my knowledge goes with directions is that the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Rises in the east and... Sets in the west, <laughs> Cap. Fuck! This is ridiculous. We escaped those flesh eating monstrosities to become stranded out at sea without any food. When it comes down to it, I vote cooking to Kevin Boy first. I vote cook I vote it. kicking you out. I'm sure once this fog clears up, we can get our bearings and eventually come across some land. In the meantime, let's all take a rest. 
We've been on our feet for a long time. You are quite right. Come, Charles. It is your dinner time. Yes, oh, mommy. What's he gonna uh, eat? I what the fuck? I think it's important that we. Uh, we need to keep our guard because I have a bad feeling that. Will you kindly shut the hell up back there? God damn. Thank you. <clears throat> As I was saying, I just think we should be on our toes. What? Who? That's a that's a grown boy. I hate I hate this kid so bad. Oh, thank you. Found three bolts. The things. Uh, you have to say, Charles. I'm watching you, Mister. You stay away from my mommy, or there'll be problems. Big problems. I'll make sure you end up just like daddy. Okie dokie. Shut up! I can't believe we made it out of that hellish village. Once I put my Charles to sleep, please come back and see me. Oh! We're actually gonna do it? <laughs> I'd like to express to you how grateful I am. Oh, Charles, guess who's a fat? <laughs> What's this? It's an old Polaroid of some soldiers. <clears throat> On the back, it reads Things will get better once we get home, brother. Joe. <laughs> Joe. Joe, mom. I miss my wife when we were dating. After I got home from the war, she was the only thing I had going for me. Got chased out of our hometown because I had the audacity to get drafted. She uprooted her whole life and came with me though. Now I realize how much she held me together. I'm not sure what I believe in, but if I wasn't afraid of possibly going to hell, I'd throw myself in that murky water without a second thought. She was perfect. I have to do what I can to make sure we go to the same place. <laughs> two days without her is enough. <laughs> Day two of no life. I couldn't stand eternity. I'm sorry for the depressing sentiments, but I'll see through that or another war story. I, I'm interested in hearing a war story. Skeeter's so nice. I like him. I like Skeeter. Did I talk to you? Something ain't sitting right with me. Hmm. And I'm not talking about Captain Clueless over there. The child, right? Charles. Something came in this fall. I don't think we're alone. I'm going to keep my eyes open. Nothing good ever happens on Fog Nights. Mm -hmm. True, true. I hope I hope Stan and Skeeter survive. I like them the most. Hi, Captain. Sorry to distract you. I just wanted to ask how you're doing. Why am I the shortest? Am I shorter than Belinda? I'm shorter than Belinda. I'm shorter than everyone in this. Except Charles. Ugh. Everyone's pissed at me, huh? Honestly, I didn't think we were getting out of that shack. <laughs> so, I lied about no one coming to island and how to get there. I just didn't want everyone else to die hopeless. Okay, I understand. I understand. You know, give hope to people. Because this situation is pretty uh, hard. So, I'm not mad at you, Captain. I don't know what side Moss grows on. But, I do know one thing. I have hope we'll make it out of this. You probably triggered a death flag. But, thank you. Thank you. Ah! What was that? Excuse me. David Jones, freaking locker. What was that? Bro, I, I'm supposed to get it all with Belinda. Can we? Who's interrupting this? Someone check the motor around back. If something hit it, then we're sitting ducks out here. Oh, boss battle. I'm ready, baby! <gasps> Woo! And you just left her out here, bro? 
Brother? Okay, I get it, I get it. Not so fast! Sharky shark! Shark, shark, shark. Okay, over here, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Predictable! Oh, whoa, 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 you're kind of... Uh, Tokyo drifting over here, Jesus. Is there more than one? Maybe up front, maybe up front. Inside? Or is it going back to the... Shoot, I don't know where it is. Oh. Oh, oh you thought you got me there! Shoot, where's it coming from? Oh, 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 oh. Oh! <laughs> this piece of junk is about to go sleeping with the fishes. What? Everyone, get in. Stan, come on. That thing will swallow us whole. We've got no other choice. Actually, we do. You all get going. Stan! That's what you're talking about. I'll stay with the ship and keep his attention. You all just roll like hell and don't look back. Stan, don't do it! That's suicide. I'll catch up. Go! Stan! Stan, you didn't even do this! Come get me, you rotten piece of shit! No, no, I can't watch! I can't watch! No! my chocolate milk down in defeat. <sighs> I don't really care about you, but uh, whatever. Have anything you want to say? Mommy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What was that about our boobs, huh? My mommy is okay, right? Okay, now I feel kind of bad. Peter, how you holding up, buddy? Stan, he, he saved our lives. It should have been me. That man is a hero. We can't let his death be in vain. I can't believe this. That wasn't no regular shark. Now where the fuck are we? I'll explore a bit ahead, I guess. Looks like we can go here. I'm here to help! Hello? Dude, what is that? Dude, am, am I in a graveyard? A graveyard in the middle of a... of an island? What was that? Where's my squad at? Hello, follow me? Follow me, follow me. I have the gun, I can lead you guys to safety. Sealed shut. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna end the video here. We explored a little bit. By that, I mean just this area. Uh, but I think that's enough. I'm glad we got to meet the characters. Uh, I feel bad for bullying Charles now. Oh my god. I swear, I don't- I don't bully children! It was- it was just... If he introduced himself a little more nicer upon, like, our first arrival... You know what they say, first appearances matter. Or first impressions. And I did not get a, a good first impression from Charles, so that's why I was mean to him the entire time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Bye bye. Here, you can hear me drinking the chocolate milk. <laughs>